Hey guys, Gray here. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, um, but today I'm doing a video on the Mother Box from DC Comics Replicas. It, it's basically easy to use. It only has three functions when you press the button. Though, if you don't press the button, it won't go to the other functions and it'll go non-stop continuously forever. It's better to use this thing at night. Personally, I always thought the mother box was kind of cool, no matter where I went. And, but it's even better now because I got one of the original colorists, Glenn Whitmore, uh, who actually worked on Superman comics, including the the comic that was actually the death of Superman, the original death of Superman. Like he was, he's one of my OG favorite guys actually. And he was the reason I went to that comic book convention recently just to get this signed. Yeah, can't say that that wasn't the coolest thing. He also signed the poster that's right in the back too of, uh, of the Justice Guild of America. I kind of really wish that was a comic, but it isn't. So, sorry about that. Sorry about that, folks. But, yeah. And I love how they did the design of the mother box. Even the box itself that holds the mother box, they, they put in the de graphic details that they couldn't put onto the original box. And it does come with the charger cord. It comes with... Though I am a little upset with how the charger station is. Like, it, it opens up without you even actually trying. Like, it's that loose. It, so, um, and it's not waterproof. So, yeah, if you spill water on it, you could still do the bag of rice thing. But you're going to need a really big bag. And multiple people have used mother boxes throughout the years, including Lady Maxima, Big Barda, and Mr. Terrific, and Mr. Miracle, well, her husband, aka, and most of the good guys that come from, well, the opposite of Apocalypse, I, I can't ever remember its name, oh, like, Orion isn't originally from it, but all father is you know the irony is i can never that mother boxes never look exactly the same the only time recent version of mother boxes are these the only reason why is because metatron used a mother box that looked like this and metatron literally the mother boxes can basically do almost anything makes you intangible makes you do basically anything you want in the universe travel anywhere control machines do anything you want but the irony is that the actual prop does not do that it just makes the sound effects like when it's first activated that's the first sound effect at least that from what I can understand in the comics that's from what they told me and when it's deciphering other objects that's the second sound effect so basically when it's reading into the codes or kind of hacking into other machines. And then the last one is when it opens a, a boom tube. Yeah. You gotta love that. They they explained it more, actually, if you watch Young Justice for season two to three. I really, really enjoy my, my prop. I'm actually thinking of next time I go to the comic book convention instead of Green Lantern or something else, uh, maybe go as um someone that actually has a mother box maybe and get to the next one either that or wildcat or the sandman though the sandman costume is actually coming along pretty well i already made the gun i made everything I'm still making the jacket so that's taking a little bit longer because it has to have the cords and the the actual smoke pellets go through it that don't actually smoke they're just props they they won't do anything um in case if anyone's listening yeah um but 100 percent would i recommend this 
Yeah, one hundred percent. They got every detail. They even have the the visions and everything. Like they even had the cracks, the dents. Even in the core center piece, they have it. Even on the actual button that turns it on, there's dents and marks on it, so it looks exactly like as if though it was real. The only downside is it is wobbly, so you can only put it on one side without it covering the button. If you don't want it to go like bending everywhere or get damaged. But would I recommend it? Yeah, 100%. I would recommend this. And I love it. And thanks again, Glenn Whitmore, for um, signing this. Like I said, he was the original colorist on Superman comics and is also doing Archie comics now. I went and saw his seminar. It was 100% worth it. If anyone else gets a chance to go and see him, I would 100% recommend him. He's actually a really nice guy. And... He is very, like, and he's working in a new comic industry on his own comics now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Bye.